think I can. Nope, nope. Uh, I think I can. He got it. He got it that time. This guy now he's not doing anything cool. I I just missed. He's, he's, he's like it. making a maybe SOS. Maybe he's trying to make like a quick race. Like a lot of clarinet players when I was a kid, I didn't have anything better to do than watch Richard Stoltzman's um, PBS specials. And he talked about one time when he was going to play some concerto at A.B. Fisher Hall. That's what it used to be called with the New York Philharmonic still plays. It used to be called A.B. Fisher Hall. Um, I don't know what it's called now. Something, something or other. Who cares? It doesn't really matter so much. Um, what he was saying was that on the way to the concert, he left his clarinet in the cab, thus making the cabbie the most important person in that concert that day because had that cod not turned around, looked to see that there was this random box in the back seat that someone left, drove back to Avery Mitchell Hall without being called or asked to drop off the instrument, not asking for a tip, not asking for more money, just going about his day, that concert wouldn't have gone on. So uh, all that to say that uh, the people who keep our cars running are heroes. Like Devin, it's hard to see his shirt but if you happen to be in Boulder, Colorado, or anywhere nearby, and have a BMW or Audi or a Tesla, I suppose, that's, that's what's hot in the streets right now. And certainly, if you have a rock crawler or any sort of large off-road item, Devin, is who we even call 303-444-0511, you call Devin, you get your thing fixed, you get it all sorted out. But um, be careful though, because like, I drive BMW, so don't keep them too busy, I might need them. Um, I was thinking of Devin when I was out in Michigan this summer, because uh, we went uh, jeeping on some sand dunes. One man's natural disaster encroachment is another man's natural wilderness paradise, I suppose. So we were driving around in these, uh, on these sand dunes with the jeeps, and you know, I gotta say, it was a lot of fun to do like exactly one time. I'd rather be on the boat, but if I have to go on a Jeep sand dunes to go to a boat, then I feel like that's a better way to get there than the interstate. Um, so all that to say that Michigan, I really enjoyed my time in Michigan. It's a beautiful state. 
um, by way of apologizing for something I wrote about Michigan a few years ago. Um, this was uh, a Daily Camera editorial. The question was, CU football coach Mel Tucker is leaving Colorado for Michigan State after only one season. Your take. Boulder is an expensive town. It can easily cost you a million dollars to move here. You better be sure about it, because apparently it costs three million to leave. As taxpayers, at least, we should be glad it isn't the university paying someone to go away. This time. I was at a meeting with Oregon State Senator Ron Whiting in his office in 2011. He had just returned to the office after being in the hospital. What he said about his colleagues in the Senate was, even in the den of thieves, rolling the guy in the hospital is too far. If your Pac-12 fanaticism extends to the politics of our competitors, you won't be surprised that what Senator Ryden was talking about was net neutrality and a bill that, would he, that he believed would have sailed through the Senate had it not been laid up. The next, the subtext being that the rules will definitely allow you to roll someone that's the person that's present. As taxpayers, at least, we should be glad that senators have more respect for their colleagues and college coaches. I was surprised, too. By way of wishing Mr. Tucker well, I say anyone who wants to live in Michigan instead of Colorado should follow their dream. For most people, home feels like a place because the people that make it home just happen to be there. If one can make their home in Boulder and your people want to live somewhere awful, instead, my advice is find new people. It's okay that Coach Tucker wasn't that into the buffs. We'll find new people. All of them, I agree, we deserve better. People in your life for a reason, for a season or reason. If Mel was with us for a season, if, if, if the reason Mel was was with was ah, if the, if the reason Mel was with us for a season was to beat Nebraska, then that's a good enough reason for me. Go Buffs!